If, if you're faster than me, you please use disc, all right? If you're faster than me, please use road disc, aka gravel bike. Please, please don't use rim brake, all right? Uh, I struggle enough sometimes with some of these riders out there. Please use, if you're a faster rider than me, stick with disc. Ignore this video. This video is conspiracy. It's blah, blah, la, la, la. It's false information, fake news. Don't listen to it. If you're fitter than me, faster than me, please stay on your disc brake bike. Right? Give me every advantage I can have. About to go for a quick spin, just jump on the commute. Um, someone said, mentioned about here the Tarmac, this is an S Works Tarmac SL8. And over here we have a Jamis, and it's got alloy wheels on it, tram red, and it's a little bit lighter with pedals than our SL8 Tarmac. And I've put some new wheels on this, dropped to just under 6.86 6 .6 kilo. And I think this with pedals, it was at 6.7. If you, if you, you know, this bike feels way, way faster. Even though the weight's pretty much the same, all right? Why does this bike, this Jamis, why is it so much more aero in the crosswinds? It just is faster. People go, well, but yeah, but okay, Harley, it, it feels faster because it's got skinnier tires and skinnier rims and you feel the bumps more, so it feels more responsive, way more responsive. And, and that's a great valid argument, but the data tests, <laughs> this bike's faster. Uh -huh. The real world data is not the marketing material from Jamis or from Specialized, which means sweet FA in my opinion. It's the real world performances that matter. Well, in the Tour de France, they're faster than ever because they're taking better fucking drugs than ever before. Well, they don't take drugs anymore because they do tests and there's security guards at the check-ins. So how can they use drugs during that? <laughs> Half-life of EPO still fucking eight hours back it out from there anyway if you want to know the truth let's go, let's go deviate here how come if you go on strava and you're like all the climbs how come norton summit record is still standing for 2016 if the new bikes are faster how come none of the local hitters or world tour riders are doing faster times up these climbs in training or racing all right let's use training but the Norton Summit Colin was done in TDU. But, you know, how come if these bikes are way faster now, more aero, how come the local rider, there's plenty of gun riders in Adelaide, how come none of them did it? How come Cookie Man still uses a rim brake bike with old tech for his doped up, doped up, in my opinion, due to Magic Cookie, let's, let's call it Magic Cookie. Magic Cookie performances, all right? Cookie Man loves to give it others a bit. Cookie, Cookie Man loves to point the fingers at Cancellar and everyone else, but when someone points a finger at him and go, how are you doing dope and watts per kilo, bro? He loses his cookies. He's throwing cookies out of his pram. He's throwing cookies out of his sand pit. He's throwing cookies everywhere. <laughs> we love Cookie Man. Um, but I'm just saying, like, how come even guys like that? And how come, you know what? Look at even Andrew Feather. Is he that hill climb freak? Is he, I think he's not even no, I don't. Um, it's people, it's, your identity is to do watts per kilo. Why would you be natty? All right, the drug tests are easy to pass. The, the Cookie Man and Fair Run are getting tested, so it's like, why wouldn't you do it? You're getting praise. You're getting become a, a champion if you don't. If you do, and if you don't, you're just whatever. Think, people, think. All right. Anyway, good on. If I want to use juice, I've used juice before. I never use EPO, but I've used other stuff. Why I'm using EPO? That's another video. I'd do the training to justify that. Anyway, so um, I'm not that good. You know, like I only use EPO if you're like a gun rider. Otherwise, it's like. You know, what's the point? This bike just feels better because it is better. This bike gets gets more attention. Oh, holy shit, there's an S-Works. Now, so the other day, someone was like, I was riding past a bunch of dudes at a traffic light at night time, and someone was like, holy shit, that's an S-Works, that's a light. Holy shit, it's doing on it. <laughs> they were just ripping out. It's hilarious. I was like, this is, uh, yeah, in my ego fuel. But um, but it was good. Like Then those guys would start a discussion. Oh, he hates that bike. Well, how can we join? Oh, no, no, no. So it just creates a discussion and stuff. People start thinking, all right, thinking. Um, people are like, you, you just bought this money because you're a porn star now, you do OnlyFans and you're, you're coming on chicks' faces and that's how you buy these bikes. That's true, but I got this bike before I was doing OnlyFans, okay? So just to be clear on that one. Money shots. <laughs> money shots. <laughs> anyway, this bike feels better to ride. I love this bike. This bike's killer. Killer. If this if this doesn't have the S-Work sticker on there, didn't have the clout, <laughs> I'd be like, man, this bike's average. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful. So the reason why this bike is faster, battery cut out, 
I'm not battery storage cutout. The reason why this bike's faster is faster because it's got shallow section wheels, so they cut through the air way better, especially the crosswinds, man. Crosswinds, this bike's crushing the SL8, crushing it. Uh, the shifting, DO2, yes, it's faster, it's you know, better, but the Shram Red's killer, man. Shram Red won Tour de France, good enough for them, good enough for me. Um, killer bike, adjustability, everything, seat pros, you can get perfect cut, the uh, perfect fit, the, the handlebars systems, it works great. Clean the headset out, two minute job versus you gotta, you gotta take out the both hydro brake lines and buy a new and cut them and all that stuff. The hydro lines just to do the headset regrease or clean out. Silly, um, but this one feels better, similar weight because it just has lighter wheels. Right? The lighter your wheels are, the faster the bike feels and the faster the bike will go up a climb, etc. Now, people would debate that and stuff like that, and great. Show me the proof. Where are the local riders who are getting these new bikes and smashing out faster times? They're not doing that, are they? All the kingers, they're all the hitters on Strava, not beating their PRs, are they? Okay? They're the ones who are using rim brake. So this is fact. The classic Strava segments, look them up, look them up, look them up. Peak times, 2011 to 2014 to 2018. There's a few guys still hitting it in 2021 rim brakes, obviously crushing. But there you go. If the new bikes are faster, how come you're not setting PRs on Strava? Right, how come you're not in the top five tech team leaderboard like I am in a lot of these climbs? Right? And I see it in I see it in Norton Summit. I mean, I watch Norton Summit dart all the time. Even when I'm not riding much, I'm just checking out what, what happened on the weekend. And I'm like, man, the times are fucking slow, aren't they? You know, compared to what they could be. And some of these guys out there up in Norton Summit, they're ripping. They're ripping some serious wattage. But the times don't reflect it. It's like, damn, man, I've got to see what bikes you're riding. Oh, you're riding a TCR disc brake bike. Oh, you're riding a Pinarello disc brake bike. Oh, you're riding a SL6 disc brake bike. And I, I like that because some of these hitters out there who are way faster than me, it, it, the gap's a little bit slower. The gap's a bit smaller between me and them. You know, I don't get dropped as quick because they're on a they're on a yeah, gravel bike with road tires. So I, I like it. If if you're faster than me, you please use disc. Right? If you're faster than me, please use road disc, aka gravel bike. Please, please don't use rim brake. All right. Uh, I struggle enough sometimes with some of these riders out there. Please. Use, if you're a faster rider than me, stick with disc. Ignore this video. This video is conspiracy. It's blah, blah, la, la, la. It's false information, fake news. Don't listen to it. If you're fitter than me, faster than me, please stay on your disc brake bike. Right, give me every advantage I can have. Now, for the people out there who aren't faster than me, boom, rim brakes. Rim brakes for the win. <laughs> Straight forward, man. Why aren't the times on Strava getting faster if the bike takes more aero and shit? Where's all these... Plebs on Reddit. No, I shouldn't say pleb. But I'm saying it in a banter way, all right? I'm um, not a douchebag way. But just, you know, where are these Freds out there who are disagreeing with rim brake and me and, and the tech? Where are your faster times, bro? All right? All right? 200, 200 watt FPP as a guy? 70 kilo guy? Great. It's, I mean, it's, you're out there riding. Top effort. Just saying. If you want to get your fastest times, come to the rim brake side.